Hello everyone, today we shall talk about vampire viruses. You must be thinking this is that sort of virus which either infects only bats or if it infects humans, the humans will turn into vampires. No, this is not that kind of virus. Actually, this is a group of virus that infects other viruses. You heard it right. This is karmic justice for viruses. Because viruses tend to infect humans and other organisms. But now we have a group of organisms or viruses that can also infect other viruses. Not only interspecies war is going on, but within the species also war is going on. This is what the nature is trying to tell us. Do not worry about notes. It is provided through my telegram channel Pooja Devedi UPSC. If you have any queries, you can talk to me on my Instagram as well. Moving on. Vampire viruses have been found for the first time in the USA. We have very little research that shows how it is going to impact humans. But other things are there. We are going to talk about that. Certain viruses that prey on other viruses instead of self-replicating or other organisms as in bacteria as well. These are known as vampire viruses. Why the name vampire virus? That's very interesting. Recently, mini flare, the vampire virus has been studied. And no one has ever seen a bacteriophage that means the virus that infects bacteria or any other virus attached to another virus and this was pretty shocking so the vampire virus is the one that latches itself on to other virus or bacteria and it is known as the satellite and the victim virus on which it has latched it is known as the helper and the satellite is that infectious strand that relies on the helper to support its through it through its life cycle that means it needs a host such as the virus here the name vampire virus actually comes from the way they latch this is the capsid of the victim virus and this is the tail and just where they are meeting this is the neck and here only this mini flare which is the vampire virus has latched itself earlier it was also seen that there were certain viruses that had bite marks on this place that is why the name vampire virus like vampires bite the neck in the movies that we see similarly the name here has been given vampire virus keeping that in mind so mini flare literally attached to the helper at the point where the capsid meets the tail hence the neck and mini flare contained no gene for integrating into its host this means that it was entirely reliant on the mind flare helper when it comes to entering a cell that means if it is going to enter other cell it will need the assistance of this victim virus or the mind flare or we can call it the helper the origin actually goes back decades ago when these were termed as viral satellites it was seen that in 1973 bacteriophage 2 which actually infects the gut bacterium e coli this infectious infection sometimes led to two different types of viruses emerging from the cell phage p2 or and phage p4 these are the two viruses Bacteriophage P4 is a temperate virus that means it integrates itself into the chromosome of the host cell and there it lies dormant asleep. Then this particular cell which is already hosting P4 is infected by P2 and P2 will give instructions to P4. P4 when it sees that P2 has come it will wake up and start getting instruction from p2 and then hundreds of its own small viral particles p2 will, uh, p4 will start to make so p2 is giving genetic instruction to p4 to work this is how they work simultaneously this i am talking about bacteriophage uh, okay bacteriophage means a virus that infects bacteria now as we know not only around us we have seen so many wars Russia, Ukraine war, we also are seeing Israel, Hamas war. But in our nature also, there are so many wars that have been and still is being fought since billions of years. This is a war between bacteria and viruses. And I was watching this very interesting series on Netflix that was um, Life on Our Planet. If you haven't watched it, do watch it. The first rule of life is whoever adapts to the situation better has a better chance of survival that is why evolution and that is why viruses and bacteria both are evolving are in an arms race so whenever viruses infects bacteria bacteria also start developing resistance towards them 
and when bacteria starts developing resistance towards the virus what will happen viruses will also start getting smarter so this is a war that is being fought since billions of years and viral satellites have a direct impact on the helper viruses because they will either maim them maim the bacteria or even they can make them more efficient in infecting it is all about evolution and this is an endless evolutionary arms race that is why we are saying we need to develop better medicines better antibiotics because we are seeing this we are going through an arms race with the bacteria and the viruses alike now p2i batches are being launched from 15 november for english 17 november for english and 10 november for hindi if you are interested please do take admission as soon as possible because diwali sale is going on and if you use the code pd live you will get it at 22999 only only till 16th of november now let's talk about phages phages are looking like somebody has made them this is the head looks like a dice it is attached to a tail and these are the fiber legs and this actually the tail is actually working like a syringe whenever bacteriophage infects any bacteria it punctures the bacteria with the help of its tail and then provides its dna through this injection and once that happens once this particular bacteriophage enters the dna its dna into the bacteria the bacteria will start replicating in uh, the viral virus will start replicating inside sometimes the pressure is so huge that the bacteria will explode and hence these particular viruses will infect the entire region the other regions all right so first let's talk about what is antimicrobial resistance see there are different microbes such as bacteria viruses fungi but if they are growing resistant to the antibiotics that we have developed almost 100 year ago 100 years ago then they will of course evolve they will start getting resistance and these bacteria viruses and other microbes that develop this resistance are known as superbugs that means in just few years and mark my words in just a few years you will see people dying of a very minor cut because we have abused the antibiotics we have been taking them for really non serious purposes and as i told you that now these monsters bacteria they were actually pacified with the help of penicillin they are not pacified anymore they are getting they are becoming a super bug now what happens we have discovered vampire viruses as i told you vampire viruses they infect other viruses similarly vampire viruses and bacteriophages also have selected certain bacteria or very close member uh, close family members of that bacteria and these particular viruses will only infect these bacteria and no one else so they are like a guided missile so if any person gets infected by bacteria or any other virus which have been chosen chosen specifically by these viruses will get a lot of help in fighting infection because the good bacteria will not die and the bad bacteria which these viruses have already chosen they will infect and kill these particular bacteria so maybe we will be getting virus shots as well sooner or later and you must be thinking if the superbugs are you know resistant to uh, antibiotics they can also be resistant to bacteria uh, sorry viruses these vampire viruses yes they can be but bacteria are not as smart as viruses we have a chance to win here as well because if it wants to if the bacteria want to raise their resistance against the phages it will have to reduce the resistance against antibiotics so they will have to die eventually either they can have resistance for phages or they can have resistance for antibiotics and this is how they choose so we will win eventually but more research is needed because as you see that deaths from drug resistance infection is set to skyrocket by 2050 people who die of antimicrobial resistance is actually going to surpass or even equal cancer that is why we need to work on it first more and more research is needed how the body human body will react to such virus shots and vampire viruses 
Evolution itself is another challenge. We are constantly undermining biology. Biology is a very important part of our entire existence. So if we do not research about the evolution, if we do not give proper understanding to how viruses and phages and bacteria evolve, and if there is no funding to it, people will eventually collapse to the pandemic that is going to come sooner or later. That is the antimicrobial resistance. I hope you understood this topic. Thank you so much for watching. Stay updated.